Hi everybody, it's Beth, and today I'm making over one of the Dollar Tree cutting board hanging signs. I grabbed this napkin from Hobby Lobby, a stencil from Amazon, one of the hanging cutting board signs, fresh linen, Spanish moss, and sage chalk paint, and some acrylic paints, and Mod Podge. First thing I did was tried to rip off some of the paper some of them you can rip off a lot more. This one you couldn't rip off that much, so ripped off what I could and put some damp paper towels on there, let it sit for about five minutes, and then scraped off the remaining paper. Now, some people um, just use the other side of the cutting board. I don't like to do that. I like to have it nice and complete. So I scraped all of the paper off and then once I had all of the paper off, I put the paper towels back on it one more time. Just, I do it for about five minutes at a time and it's just enough to get it damp so then you can work with it. And then the last thing I do to remove the rest of the paper is give it a good sanding. So the whole process of removing the paper that's on there is probably about 20 minutes. And after I had it all done, I covered it with the fresh linen chalk paint. I did front and back, two coats, and I dried it in between. And then after the paint was dry, I took my napkin from Hobby Lobby, removed the second ply on the back of the napkin. And then I'm just gonna be putting it on the bottom. So what I did was just held my stencil on there, which again, I got from Amazon. So I held the stencil on there to see where that was gonna go first. And then I put the napkin up against it to see where I needed it to be placed. Cut a big section of it off. And then what I do to give it, you know, not such a straight cut, I use water and I put some on a paintbrush and just kind of make a line where I want to remove excess paper. So I just kind of paint the water on there and then tear the napkin. And then I applied a layer of Mod Podge where I will be placing the napkin. And then I placed down the napkin and smoothed it out the best I could at first with my hands. And then I placed down a piece of parchment paper and used my travel iron to iron on the napkin. So what it does is gets rid of the bubbles and wrinkles and dries the Mod Podge as well. And then after that was done and dry, I did an outer layer of Mod Podge and dried that with my heating tool. And 
and then once that was dry I used my sanding block to sand around the edge to get rid of the excess napkin. And then next I placed down my stencil and just used some painter's tape to hold it into place. So you'll see here what I did was use the Spanish Moss chalk paint and went around with my stencil brush and I use a little bit of paint. You don't want too much because it'll bleed through. So I go around just dabbing it around where I'm going to be wanting that particular paint, which you'll see I end up doing a couple different colors on the stencil, but then I go back and cover it entirely with this one color. So I just go through lightly a little bit at a time with the paint. So right here I used a couple different colors which I didn't like how it looks so I end up going back which you'll see. The colors I did originally use um, were Spanish moss around the the edge that main color is chalk paint Spanish moss and then for this little flower is prairie sunset and khaki and then the center thankful word I used sage shadow chalk paint it's a really light green color you could barely see it so that's i think part of the reason why i didn't like it so once you pulled it off you could barely see it so i started by putting the hanger back on let the paint dry and then i didn't end up liking it so what i did was took the stencil placed it right back over there just lined it up the best I could right back where I had it and then just covered it entirely in that Spanish moss color. And then I thought that looked a lot better. So I thought it still needed a little something extra, so I thought just a simple twine flower on there. So I just took some twine, wrapped it maybe like 15 times around my hands, bunched it in the center, wrapped the twine around the center, knotted it a couple times and cut off the excess. So you make two of those. And then you just kind of spread apart the twine and, you know, fan them out a little bit. And then you'll glue them right on top of each other, kind of, um, you know, opposite of each other. So in like an X. So I just took the hot glue, put some on the center, and hot glued one right on top of the other. And then just fanned out the twine some more. And then hot glued that to the top of the cutting board and then I ended up adding a button to the center of that just to give it a little something extra and I went with a green color to match and that is it I think it ended up turning out really cute thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video